Hello everyone and welcome to Coding Cart. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn about this combination function from the ETA tools in Python. So let me first explain you the syntax of this combination function. So here we are going to learn about this combination function. Combination function which takes two parameters. The very first one is x which is iterable on which we are going to make this total combinations and second is y which is the length which means how many elements we have to take at a time to make the combination for example if i show you here suppose we are given a string suppose we are given a string like one two three four five suppose this is my iterable x value and suppose y value is two which means we have to pick two elements at a time to make the total combination so if i write here total combination by taking two elements at a time so here the combination will look like 1 comma 2 1 comma 3 1 comma 4 and 1 comma 5 for this one again we'll move for this 2 comma 3 2 comma 4 2 comma 5 after that it will be 3 comma 4 and 3 comma 5 for 3 and the last one will be 4 comma 5 so these are the total possible combination when we are taking two elements at a time for this given intervals and this combination returns tuple so let us do few experiment so let us take this example since we have to work with combination so let us copy this code and let us import from the eta tools let me zoom this one now we have imported the combination from eta tools now let me explain you each and everything in detail let us take one iterable suppose here we are taking s equal to the same value 1 2 3 4 5 now let us print let us print combination combinations in which we have to pass two parameter one is the iterable and second is the length now if i pass here length you can see here what is the output it is passing the combination object so for getting the correct output we have to convert this into a list type let us convert this in a list type and then let us execute and see now you can see here it is giving the total combination which we have seen here like this one now if you see here when i am giving this two so here we are getting in a pair now let me do experiment with the one if i give here one it will give me the total combination in a single single value like one two three four and five and here you will see it is returning tuple like if you see here it is giving the combination of one you can see here this returned value here it is returning one and comma which means it is returning a tuple so I hope it is clear it is returning a tuple. Now let us solve this problem. So let me first explain you here what they are saying. Now if you see here they have written combinations are emitted in lexographical sorted order. So if the input interval is sorted then the combination tuples will be produced in sorted order which means if we are passing this input in sorted order then we will get the output also in sorted order if you see here this input is not in sorted order but they are printing the output in sorted order you can see here a c h k and also for this length of two they are printing in sorted order means they will pass the input we have to sort the input and perform our combination and here the second parameter is two which means the length is two which means let me explain you here so here we are given the input sample like h s c k and the length is 2 so here 2 means we have to find the total combination from length 1 up to this length means we have to find for length 1 and length 2 start with 1 and then this one so we have to take this input and sort then we have to perform our combination to get the desired output because here they have the sample output in sorted order so what we will do we will first sort this given sample input and then we will perform our combination operation so when we sort this one we will get a c 
H A. Now let us perform the combination for length one. So our desired output will be A, C, H, and K. And they are saying that we have to print in a single single line. So it will be A, C, H, K. For length one, we are done. For length two, it will be A C, A H, A K, C H, C K, H K. So this will be the total combination, and we have to print in sorted order. So this is already in sorted. So we have to print in a single single line. So it will be after this one. It will be let me write here. It will be A C, A H, A K, C H, C K, and H K. So if you see here the output over here, it is the same output. You can see A C H K A C A H A K C H C K H K. So we are getting the correct output. So let us solve this problem and let me explain you line by line. So our very first task is to take the input from the user. So they are passing the input in a single line. So let us take the input from the user and then let us split. Let us split so that we can get the string and a number. Now we have to take the string. Let us take a string equal to it will be s of zero. S of zero. From here it will be s of zero, and the number will be number will be s of one. Now see when we are taking the input. It will be a string type. So for this variable, string is okay, s of zero. But for the number, we have to convert that into integer type. So let us convert into int. Now we are done. We have taken the input. Now we have taken the string. So our very first task is to sort this string to get the desired output. So let us use sorted sorted function over here. Now we are done. Now let us move forward. So what we will do here is we will use for loop for i in range, and we have to execute this one from one and including the number so number plus one. We have to take the length from one till the number, and number is also included, so plus one. So it will first execute for this one. So let us make the combination. So let us use here combination and let us pass the parameter string and the i value. So this is our iterable and this is the length. So it will simply give us the total combination object. So let us convert this into list type to get the desired output. And let us save this in a variable suppose x. Now we are done. So once we are done for the length one, let us print the value. So let us print the value from this x. So let us use for val in x. And we will print the value in a single single line. So let us print. Now, this value will be in a tuple type. So, to convert that in a string, we have to use join function over here. Dot join, and here we have to pass the value. So, in this loop, it is iterating in x and getting the value one by one. And we are converting that value into a string and printing the value. So, we are done. Next time, it will go in this loop. For the number plus one, which is two, it will find the total combination for the length two. Again, we'll execute this loop. We'll iterate in this x value by value. We'll convert into string and print the value. So let me execute and show you. Now here we have to pass x and the number two. So this total is a string type. This will be taken in input and we are splitting. So x and two will be splitted in a list type. So this s will be a list in which we are taking the s of zero 
in our string so hack will be in a string and we are taking in a sorted form so this will be in sorted form in this string variable the second one is s of one which is this value two so we are converting this into integer type and saving in a variable number so let me execute this one and show you so you can see here we are getting the desired output so this code is working so let me submit this one let us copy this one and submit here let me execute this one and see let us run and see so you can see here for the sample test case it is running let me submit this code so congratulations we are done with the hidden test cases so this code is working now let us remove this one for loop we can simply remove this for loop in a single line so let us copy this whole code and i will explain you again line by line now here we are taking the input everything is correct till here we are okay till for loop we are okay till the first loop here we are getting the total combination after getting the total combination we are executing one more for loop to convert into string and printing the value so what we will do here we will simply remove this extra for loop and we will write the same logic here we, since here we are converting the string type and printing the value so we will write the same logic we have our value from here combinations what we will do we will convert all the values to a string type so let us map into a string type so map and join we will use here join to get all the value into a string type so we are done and we have used list also for printing the value so we are done over here so let us use one more bracket and let us print the same value print print this value so let us see the output here hack 2 so you can see here it is printing the value it is printing in a list for the very first execution for the second it is printing the correct value in a list in a single line so what we will do we will use here one separator okay comma separator equal to new line new line to print everything in a single single line and also we only require the value part this box is not required so what we will do here we will use unpack operator now let me execute and show you we have hack and two now you can see here we have passed the value hack and two now it is giving the correct output so how the things are working here let me do the numbering so let me comment this line and explain you line by line how the things are working the very this is the very first part we are using combination to get the total combination of this iterable string and this is the length after this combination we have used this map function to convert each value into a string type so we have used this map function second to convert this total combination value into a string type after converting into string everything is done here we have used list for printing the value the correct format not in object format now after that we have used this unpack operator to get only the values not the bracket and at the end we have used this separator to print in a single single line so we are done now let us copy this code and let me execute one more time now let us comment this one and let us execute this code let me run this code now you can see here it is passing the sample test case let me submit this code so congratulations it is passing all the hidden test cases so this is quite efficient you can see here
we have used only one for loop to get the correct output and this was the basic understanding how the things are working so i hope you understood each and everything here so if you have learned something new please do like our videos and subscribe to our channel coding cart and stay tuned for the next videos thanks for watching